Welcome to a special edition of the Plant Based Expo Show, where we're focusing on some of the US companies that are increasingly seeing Europe as the new world of plant based eating. Now, the European plant based market is set to be worth a staggering 2.4 billion euros by 2025. So we thought we'd look at some of the influences and drivers that are impacting that change from our friends across the ponds. Already making their way to our expo next year are Follow Your Heart, Plantera and Tofurky, the jackfruit company and Nelly's Organics, who will be joining a growing list of European companies. And one of those companies changing perceptions worldwide when it comes to meat-free burgers like this are Beyond Meat. And I can remember the very first time in 2018, actually, that I had one of these. It was an absolute epiphany. I just couldn't believe it. And ever since then, they've become a weekly ritual in our household. And I just wanted to share with you my ultimate meat-free burger experience. Now I'm cooking these on a fire pit, but you can do them on the barbecue, you can do them in your kitchen, on a frying pan or in a griddle pan. The trick is to oil the burger first and oil whatever it is that you're cooking them on. So the burgers are almost there, so I'm just putting on the plant-based cheese just to melt a little bit and the burger buns on the griddle to toast. So that literally takes a couple of minutes. So now we're going to go inside and assemble them. For me, it's all about keeping it classic. I know this sounds over the top, but there is a very specific order to this. Tomato ketchup and American mustard on the bottom. Mayonnaise on the top. Onions on top of the mustard. The burger with the melted cheese on top of the onions. Then our gherkins on top of the melted cheese. Then our crunchy lettuce. Top it with the other half of the toasted bun. I serve this with my oven roasted potato wedges. They're on the recipe. That for me is ultimate burger and chips heaven. Or as you say in the States, burger and fries. Now, another US company making waves in the European plant-based market is Good Catch. Here's a recipe break for their tuna fried rice. Just another brand with the potential to change habits on a global scale with their egg substitute. Abigail Stevens recently chatted with their executive director of European operations, David Wagstaff, to find out a little more. Thank you so much for speaking with us, David. Yeah, no, it's great. Thanks. Thanks for the invite. Good to be here. So, um, obviously you started out in the US market and now you're turning your attention to elsewhere. So what attracted you to the European market in particular? Well, I think, I think we see, you know, a number of fundamental markets, you know, right. We launched in North America, clearly the homeland. Um, and we, we're, you know, killing it in the States. We're in over 10,000 stores. We've surpassed the 50 million egg equivalent of sales. That's you know, the amazing. products doing really well. Um, there's there's a there's an evolution into China clearly with the whole protein piece and, and also the the challenges in China I think are leading it to be a big opportunity for us. Europe obviously within within its sheer scale represents a massive opportunity for us. You know there's 28 different markets and there's a huge demand for what what started life as vegan products of course and there's now becoming a more broadly termed. You know, flexitarian plant-based type diet and it's interesting how much demand we're finding from from the european community and i think it's it's going to be our second biggest market opportunity outside of north america it is a huge market and i agree lots of people who are dabbling their toes into these products and just integrating them into their diet and lifestyle mm. and seeking healthier more environmentally friendly options 
That's fantastic. So we are very excited to have you at our show and to be one of our sponsors. So why did you choose Plant Based Well to bring your product to the to European market? The Plant Based show coming up is a great springboard for us. You know, to really highlight just as having landed, you know, we're here. And I think the timing, you know, even the new timing in many ways actually suits us even better because I think, you know, we'll, we'll be finalising and we'll be in market potentially, you know, we'll, we'll really be there to, to establish ourselves and talk to people on a yes, you can have it now platform rather than mm. you've got to wait for 12 months, really. We, you know, we, have, we have such a pent up demand today. You know, people, I mean, I had a call with a, a major UK retailer yesterday and we have regular six weekly calls because they want our product as soon as it's available. <laughs> so it's very I frustrating. Say, I've tried the product myself and I can't wait to be able to go to a store and be able to pick it up and purchase it regularly. That would be just revolutionary for plant-based. So you've tried, you, you've tried the liquid, consumers. have you? I have, yeah. I've tried the liquid and I've tried the folded egg. Oh, um, okay. So you, you've tried these guys then as well. I have, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're a fantastic product. I managed to use them in so different, so many different ways that within right. a week I had four entirely different meals. Um, but yeah, they're so versatile and so easy. There's nothing else like it on the market. That's fantastic news for people watching. Well, thank you so much for your time, David. I really appreciate it. And I can't wait to see you at the show. That's great. Thanks for your time. Good to thank talk to you. you. You can see the whole of that interview on the website. Now, let's see just in action in this recipe break for their breakfast scrambles. Now, what's interesting about this explosion in plant-based foods into Europe is it's not just one-way traffic. The Meatless Farm have had billboards in Times Square and Natalia are expanding their operations into the US as well as Europe. So look out for interviews with them in future episodes. And now it's time for my final recipe and it's courtesy of the US's number one jackfruit brand, the Jackfruit Company, and it's tuna style fish cakes. Start by boiling some new potatoes until they're tender and then drain them well. And I'm just going to crush those lightly with a fork. Now next I'm going to add the jackfruit. Now this is a fantastic quality product. It's the fresh fruit that's been cooked in advance and this really just takes on the flavours of whatever it is that you put with it. Start by mixing the jackfruit with the potato and then add all the other ingredients. And then I'm going to use a little bit of dried seaweed here, powdered up to really get that flavour of the sea in there. Season it and then a good dollop of mayonnaise to bind it all together. We're going to shape it into fish cakes now, just little patties, and then we're going to dip it into seasoned flour ready for frying. Fry them until they're golden brown on the outside, and then we're just going to bob them in a 180 degree preheated oven for about 10 minutes till they're heated through. And I'm just going to garnish those now with some homemade alioli and some dressed pea shoots. So that's it for this episode. Remember, all these recipes are on the website. Join us next time for more recipes and loads more information on the Expo. We'll see you then. Mm -hmm.